What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is if you're a fan of Google phones or Apple phones and foldable technology, aka some of those foldable phones that are coming out for Samsung, for instance. Well, it looks like Samsung is offering their folding display technology to Apple and Google. That's right, they're gonna offer that technology. So those two companies could possibly offer foldable phones and or tablets uh, to the masses for their technology, you know, for their new new devices that are coming out. Now, this phones, these phones and technologies probably won't release for these companies in 2019. You're probably looking more towards 2020, especially if Samsung's offering that technology right now to them. They're gonna have to get these devices ready in terms of they have to get it ready for mass production, they have to get it ready for design, they have to get it ready to ship. There's all kinds of ways they have to get these devices ready. And obviously if this technology is fairly new, especially within the last, I would say six months or so, you would expect Apple especially to not push out a new phone until at least 2020 that can actually fold up like Samsung, like Huawei has coming out, and like some other companies as well. So pretty cool that we'll possibly be seeing more foldable phones from bigger companies like Google and Apple in 2020, maybe maybe 2019, you never know, but most likely 2020. Next up, if you're looking forward to the OnePlus 7 phone, which should be out in the next, I would say, couple months here now, you're looking at this is what it's probably going to look like, which it will have a pop-out camera, not a sliding camera, but a camera will just pop out at the top of the phone giving you an all display phone. So you're not gonna have little holes in the phone like you do with Samsung or a notch, um, like you've seen in other phones or, or even any other display technology you've seen on the front. It's just gonna be all display on the new OnePlus 7 phone. It's also rumored to not have wireless charging. I mentioned this uh, earlier in the week, just in case you're wondering about the OnePlus 7, no wireless uh, charging technology, but kind of a cool look to it definitely when you see all display on there and then to get access to that uh, selfie camera, you're gonna have to have it pop out from the top. Hopefully it doesn't wear out over time. If it's popping out all the time, you never know because it's a mechanical mechanism. Eventually that's probably going to break, I would assume, just because it's mechanical. Um, but there you go. Anyways, still a very cool looking device. And our last story of the day is about the Galaxy S10. Yesterday we talked about people on Sprint getting their phones shipped out as early as March uh, 6th and March 5th. And I've gotten some other people said March 4th even for their new Galaxy S10. Well, today, it looks like T-Mobile has also started shipping out Galaxy S10 phones as well with as early as a release date as March 4th, AKA tomorrow, guys. So tomorrow we're gonna start releasing, having more people receive their phones from T-Mobile for sure, Sprint a little bit, and then Sprint over the next couple, the couple days. That's super soon. Uh, so at that point, we should start seeing some pictures from you guys I would expect that I can share with this audience of mine, uh, showing you guys doing a little you know, unboxing, showing you holding your phone, that'd be cool. Send me a little picture of you holding your Galaxy S10. I'll post it up on here. Um, so what you're gonna end up seeing though also is at and Verizon, I would say most likely, not tomorrow, most likely shipping, but at least shipping it out tomorrow, but then receiving it as early as the 5th, the 6th, the 7th. And it's just a matter of time. And then unlock devices just around the corner as well. So tomorrow should be a huge day for people receiving their phones and getting their phones shipped out from other carriers and from the, some of the carriers we've already talked about as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. If you get any information about your phone shipping, let me know, Greggles TV everywhere on social media, Greggles TV again, everywhere on social media, or you can shoot me an email, greggles.tv at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Question of the day is, what's the best look for display technology? Is it what Samsung's doing with the holes in the top right? Is it the notch? Is it the pop-out camera that OnePlus 7 is doing? Or is it something else? Maybe it's the way you like the way the Galaxy Note 9 looks. Let me know the way you think it looks best, and I'll see you down the road. Peace!